Afternoon all. Today I'm looking at uh, Wilco's 100 multifunction, multicoloured timer Christmas tree lights, or Christmas lights generally, I suppose. Nine functions, uh, a black cable, batteries included. There's a timer function. Um, it does six hours on, so that's for the evening shift, I guess, from, say, 6 p.m. till midnight. 18 hours off so you don't have to bother to switch them on and off. Now, although it says 15 pounds on here, when I got to the till, they actually only rang up seven pound 50. So this was a bit of a bargain. Now, what have we got? Directions for use? Well, we don't really need that. We'll just play with it. Uh, warnings. Well, I can't imagine much could uh, be uh, problematic with this since it runs off, well, AA batteries. Uh, what else is there? The guiding light. Number of lights, 100. Indoor use, yes. Outdoor use, yes. That's good. Batteries included. Oh, what have we got? Bulb ratings. Well, now these are LED. So 3.2, uh, 0.064 watts and 2 volts, 0.04. Are we talking the difference between the uh, green and blues and the reds here? Probably. Distance to first light, a meter. Distance from first light to last light, 8.4 meters. Oh, come on, enough of this. Let's get it open. So let's see what's inside. Ah, yes, that looks pretty good. Lights, a battery box, and instructions. Uh, yes, also uh, three batteries. Now, I'm not normally a great fan of things that take three AAs, but I can understand the need for three. That gives us four and a half volts. And since the blue and green LEDs probably are the ones that need 3.2 volts, can't really get away with two AAs unless there's some sort of converter. Now let's look at the um, nine functions. Oh, one of them's off. That's a bit of a cheat, isn't it? Uh, combination, in-wave, sequential, slow glow, chasing flash, slow flay, twinkle flash, steady on. And number nine is off. Well, let's put the batteries in. So a screwdriver is needed for this. Now this looks reasonably well weather sealed. Um, how do these clips work? Crikey, they're quite stiff. So is there a little seal around there? Yes, there's a rubber seal running around this box. There's also a little bit of hot glue where the cable enters the box, although it doesn't look like it's been very intelligently applied. Okay, let's put the batteries in. So let's cut through this. Break this apart. Okay. One in there. One in there. One in there. Close the box. I'll put the screw back in later. Let's switch on. So that must be combination. In waves, sequential, that's interesting, that seems to do alternate green and blues and red and yellows. Oh, and that's speeded up. Excellent. What else have we got? Slow glow. Yeah, that looks like it's a slow glow. Will it switch to this side? Yeah. Okay, that's slow low. What's next? Chasing flash. Well, it looks to me like all the red and yellows are wired to one output, and all the blue and greens are wired to another output. So it's not like there's very much individual control over these LEDs. Uh, what's next? Slow fade. Twinkle flash. Yes, that's a shame, really. If it had more control, it could do more with it. Now, interestingly, there are only two wires coming out of the unit. So what I'm imagining happens is that the polarity reverses in order to drive one set of LEDs and then drive the other. It must just flip the polarity round um, inside this, the electronics inside this unit. Steady on. Now, it says steady on but it's driving both sets of LED, so it must be switching them on and off very quickly. We can soon find out. Yep, and there you are. You can see there's a on-off switching pattern. And similarly, 
there's an on-off switching pattern there. So that's how it manages to have them both on because it's actually rapidly reversing the polarity of the, uh, well, the electrical signal running down there. Excellent. Ninth mode, off. Wow, that's impressive, isn't it? So it seems from the instructions that the way this works is that in the off mode, these lights stay off continuously. Um, in any of the other modes, then you get the uh, flashing or fading sequence, which will only run for six hours, and then the unit will shut off automatically and stay off for 18 hours, and then come back on uh, for another six hour period the following day, which I think is quite neat. You don't have any sort of... Uh, other buttons to invoke the timer function, it's just completely automatic. Now, it doesn't look terribly impressive when it's just a bunch with the two colours split out like this, but I expect if I join these together and mix them all up, that wouldn't look too bad. That would actually look quite reasonable. It is fairly obvious that green and blue are together and red and yellow are together. But it's not bad, is it? Not bad. So is there much to see in terms of electronics? Uh, well, let's pop the lid. I popped it already, actually. It was only held in by this glue. Well, not a lot. We've got IC1 there. And uh, as well as IC1, we've got four transistors here, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, which are wired up in the form of an H bridge. And that's what uh, gives the circuit the ability to do a complete polarity reversal through these two wires and therefore drive first the green and blue, and then the uh, red and yellow. So very simple, one IC and an H bridge of transistors. Now I've noticed that on the screen of my camera, the greens and blues, you really can't tell them apart until they go dim. Maybe if I put it in a fading mode, you'll be able to see it a bit more easily. Yes, that is better in this uh, mode. I'm not quite sure what it's doing. That's not steady on, is it? If the next one's off, then it is. Oh yeah, that was the steady on. Let's go for a fading one. Yeah, when they fade out, you can see that they are different colours, green and blue. Red and yellow, a little bit more obvious, I think. So that's really it. That's Wilco's 100 multifunction, multicoloured timer lights with nine functions, indoor and outdoor battery operated. Uh, for £7.50 I think these are actually quite good, mainly due to the sheer number of lights that are on here. Um, it's about a, a 8 metre string, it's probably about 10 metres including this uh, extra bit of wire at the beginning. In fact it's here in the specifications, overall length is approximately 9.4 metres. Now when I uh, took these to the checkout I was prepared to pay £15. I think I might have been a bit disappointed for £15. You get lots of lights but the uh, ability to switch between them is fairly limited because of this simple two wire arrangement. But for £7.50 I think this is pretty good. So I've strung the lights around my garden wall and uh, at night they look like this. Not too shabby at all really. They're going through some sort of uh, fading sequence. So they run along the entire length of the wall. Let's have a look from this end. They're not massively bright, but they show up reasonably well in the dark. Let's come round the corner. Yeah, I think they look pretty good. So I've attached the uh, little battery box to the inside of the fence here, and I've switched it on to the combination mode. Now I turned it on about half past four, just as it was getting dark, and uh, so it should run till about half past ten, and then it should switch off, uh, stay off all day, and then come on the following day, every day, from now until Christmas, without any user intervention, hopefully. So let's see how they do it. 